I'm going to pull it back again with another video. It's the Ken Hess Summons on Bloodborne. Where to find it and how to use it. I've uh, heard some of you are struggling where to find it and how to use it. So uh, it's time to make a video on it. Um, so basically from the Forbidden Woods, uh, the lamp. Um, go to where the dog cages are in the village. It's, they're around one of the, one of the backs of the houses. Um, and follow it through into a little cave. And this cave will come out into a, an opening. Uh, with some water and some giant beasts, snakes and all sorts of things. Uh, obviously I'm going to speed the video up in a minute and skip through this section. But it's worth doing. Lots of collectibles, lots of blood echoes and a few special items. But there'll basically be an exit in this cave leading up to a very long ladder that you need to climb. And that's where we are now on this bit here. So up this slope, onto the long ladder. Climb this way up to the top. So some of you out there are wondering what on earth the Cane Hair Summons does. Well basically when you collect it and go to the special location, um, you get taken to the Cairnhurst Castle um, where you get an optional but well worth uh, doing boss fight um, with the Martyr Logarius. Um, it can be a few uh, nice items as well. And obviously in that location you can also join the Vileblood uh, Covenant as well if you wish. So right, putting on the torch here um, and then now it's on to find uh, the clinic. because Basically we're going to go in the back entrance. Um, to find the Cairn Hair Summons. Another long ladder again. So up this ladder here. Lots of long ladders on the game, as you might have noticed. So then, yeah, back to the Canhouse Castle. Um, well worth doing. The boss fight's pretty tough. Um, but there's lots of special items as well. Loads of special armour, a couple of special weapons. So through this gate. Not through this gate even, so through this gate. Get me bearings right in a second. So yeah, open this, uh, open this gate by putting the lever. It's always worth checking around every, every nook and cranny you can, obviously for blood echoes and all sorts of things. Right, so. Um, back to where we were on the video then. You know, I said through that gate is actually through the other gate. Take care of this weird looking uh, guy here. Be careful though, he does hit you for quite a bit of damage, so watch what you're doing. If he goes mental on me there, nearly kills me, which wouldn't, wouldn't have been good. Because obviously, the trek back to the lamp and the Forbidden Woods is quite a trek. You can get a madman's knowledge. Obviously, which you need to do co-op play, so well worth doing. And there's yet another long ladder. Yep, you guessed it. That's uh, the third incredibly long ladder we need to climb. My character wants to stop messing around on the screen. This basically leads you into a rooftop, which uh, gets you into the back entrance of the clinic. If you remember, the clinics were the lady is asking you to bring any survivors that you find. Obviously if you do bring survivors, and obviously, spoiler alert here, if you do bring survivors to her, uh, they are going to all die in the clinic, so be careful about that. So right, into the clinic back entrance we go. Um, you're going to like an operating theatre. There's some weird creature of a mushroom head. And the can has summons will be on the table. So there it is there, that little shiny thing. On the operating table, God knows what's going on in, in here. I don't think I, I really want to know. It's worth dispatching this uh, mushroom-headed creature here. Epic fail with a thrust. He drops a blood vial. It completely restores your health. And well worth having. Especially on a tricky boss fight. Right, this door here I'm about to open. When you do so, I'll see you can then access this from the, the lamp. Remember one of the first lamps you light in the game is the clinic lamp. So down the stairs to the uh, to the lamp. Right then, um, how to use the summons. Um, go to obviously the, the Hemwick lamp, which is where you fought the witch, and follow my exact steps here as you see on the screen. 
Uh, obviously take care of the enemies as well, you're going to need to. Uh, the witch must be dead as well, if she's not you're going to need to kill her. Um, and you're going to run past an obelisk um, anytime soon on the video. Obviously make sure you've got the Cairn Hair summons, otherwise this is a wasted trip. See there on the right hand side of the screen, we're going to run past an obelisk. It doesn't always trigger straight away, so be wary of that. But on the way back, it triggers, you get a stagecoach appear. Obviously get in the stagecoach, and it'll take you to Cairn Hair's castle, where you've got the Ligarious boss fight. I hope the videos have been handy guys, thanks a lot for watching, I leave your comments and suggestions as usual, and uh, thanks a lot, take care for now, see you later.